a silver lining to Victoria's flooding emergency. The buzz around town about the water out here is just amazing. Heavy rain has made its way into Lake Hindmarsh for the past two years. And whenever there's a steady stream of water here, the flow of tourist dollars is never far behind. Yeah, we've been through it before, for around five years ago, with no water. And that's the first time with water. Everywhere we go, small little country towns, we always support them. Go down and do a bit of shopping and stuff like that. Lake Hindmarsh was the region's playground and cultural heart when it was reliably full across the 60s and 70s. But after successive droughts, it now only fills when there are floods upstream. And as the lake's levels have dropped over the years, so too has Japarit's population. In the old days it would have fueled 20 to 30 businesses and uh, you know it was a great boom for the town but I suggest now it'll be more tourism and maybe the shire needs to look to um, keep the people with the lake stay for longer. The lake is expected to have this much water in it for a year or more but even so the locals know this boom is only temporary and they want to make the most of it. We'd like to open the kiosk. There's a kiosk here that was opened back in 2011 and it doesn't open when the there's no water in the lake, but I think it would be lovely. Water brings life, people, dogs and um, bird life, kids on their kayaks, water skiing, and we hope everybody comes to the Shire over this summer. Alexander Darling, ABC News, Japarit.